Given this vector function, we want to find the tangential and normal components of the acceleration vector at time one. And for that, we're going to use the uh, formulas that were given in the book. Now, both of these involve the velocity vector and the acceleration vector, so we need to find those. So the velocity vector is just the derivative of the position vector. So derivative of cosine is negative sine pi t. And then we've got a chain rule times pi, which I'm going to pop out in front there. Derivative of sine is cosine pi t. Again, we have a chain rule, so I'm going to pop that cosine in front. And derivative of t cubed is 3t squared. Next, we're going to need the acceleration vector, uh, which is the second derivative of our position. And so that's the derivative of this. So derivative of sine is cosine. And again, we got a pi m multiple coming out from the chain rule, giving us a pi squared there. Same idea here. Derivative of cosine is negative sine pi t. This pi comes along for the ride, and then we've got another chain rule there, and 6t. Now, because we're working with this at a point, t equals 1, we can go ahead and evaluate both of these uh, functions at 1. So the velocity function at 1, if we plug in 1 for t here, uh, we got sine of pi then, and sine of pi, uh, you might recall, is 0. Here we got cosine of, when t is 1, we'll have cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so we'll have negative pi. And sticking in 1 for t here, we'll have 3. The acceleration vector then at, at 0 will be Again, sticking in 0 for t, cosine of 0, sorry, sticking in, why did I say 0? Let's correct that. We're evaluating at 1 here, uh, same problem here. We're sticking in 1 for t. Uh, so sticking in 1 in here, cosine of pi is negative 1, cancels the negative there, leaving pi squared. Sticking in 1 for t here, cosine of pi is 0. And sticking in 1 for t here, we get 6. So there is my uh, velocity vector at time 1 and my acceleration vector at time 1. And now we can start working on these for with these formulas. So cleaning up a little bit, for our tangential uh, component, we need a dot v. And so using the dot product with our vectors here, we'll have 0 times pi squared is 0 negative pi times 0 is 0, and 3 times 6 is 18. And so that dot product is 18. So we got 18 divided by the magnitude of the velocity vector. Again, we're doing the, it at 1 here, so the magnitude will be 0 squared plus negative pi squared plus 3 squared is uh, looks, looks like we got a pi squared plus 9. So we got pi squared plus 9 here. And there is our acceleration, the magnitude of acceleration in the tangential direction. Now for the normal direction, we're going to need the cross product of a and v. And so for that, we can go ahead and calculate out the uh, cross product. So we got negative 0, negative pi 3, pi squared 0 and 6 here and we can calculate that out. And calculating out the cross product gives us this. Now we need the magnitude of that cross product, which will be, let's see, it'll be the square root of 36 pi squared, that's squaring the first component there, 9 pi to the fourth for the second component, and pi to the sixth for the third one. That divided by the magnitude of v, which we found earlier, gives us the normal component of the acceleration.